Hello everyone and welcome back. I would call all of you the F word. The longer F word um, that we're not allowed to say any more. The uh, word that rhymes with baguette uh, or a bundle of sticks. That F word. Uh, I would call all of you that and say welcome. Out of love, of course. Out of a genuine sense of of love of saying hey f words thanks so much for joining me but i'm on youtube and that word is a naughty naughty word and society has dictated that that is offensive and so we have to silence people and um try to control people's speech in order to dictate what is allowed to say and what's not allowed to say so if i thought i could get away with calling all of you that word right now i would and I just wanted to start the episode off that way. And that's how I would really like to start the episode off. <sighs> Alas, I cannot. So I thought I'd start it off on my little soapbox. But thanks for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. It's always a, a pleasure when I see uh, all the views and stuff I'm getting and people watching my stuff. I do appreciate it. And we're here in this giant trash can. And... We, in the last episode, got our butts handed to us completely by this giant robot. And we used this forge. We did craft the armor, but then we died. It took us down there, and this thing attacked us. We were ill-prepared for it. In this episode, I don't think we're going to fight it again in this episode. We might. We're definitely going to fight it again. I don't know if it's going to be in this episode or the next one. We're actually going to go back over here hello can i move oh i have to do map and we're gonna go not this one this one and report back to the myconoid yeah you know we never did do that i think i want to go back and actually do that now that i'm seeing it um report back to the myconoids we we wiped out their enemies but we never went back to them uh so we're going to do that, and then we're going to go over here. Fine. No, I don't care about that. Save the Grimforge Gnomes, and... Tree. Free True Soul near. We're going to do that, too, because there's a True Soul trapped somewhere behind the store. So in order to get back to the Myconoids, where the hell are they? Underdark Myconoid Colony. I'm going to take a, take a stab in the dark and say that they're there. Yeah, we never went back here, so let's see what happens. Because we spent the whole last episode getting our asses handed to us, so I want to take a little break. And I think we need to go up here. Hey, dude. Where you at? We took care of the the gnomes or whatever they are. There's this chick again. And we also killed your brother, the fat one. It greets you with a harrowing elegy, cheerless as the new moon. Yeah, um... Playing the creature called Glut. It was scheming to slaughter your circle. Uh, the Dwegar are slain. The rod has been purged. Pay me. The music shifts. Still melancholic, but now streaked with hope. Do you hear a new harmony? Serenity. I name you Peace. There's nothing like peace through blood. Fragrant spores waft through the air. Your heart swells with bliss with your every breath. Freely you have given to us. Freely you may take. The Guardian Gate is open. Go and claim your reward. But before this... I have another boon to ask of you. You have cut out the Dwergar blight, but not its source. In your mind's eye, Spore shows you a drow striding among Myconid dead. Near, this one is called. He hunted us. Hunt him in turn. Bring me his head. And I will know my circle is safe. Interesting. So that's oh, near. busy work. That's royalty for you. Everyone's their servant. 
Well, as long as they pay us. Um, so Nier's a drow. I remember someone, at one of my companions mentioned that, and I was like, how do you know that? So Nier is a drow, he's a true soul, and he's trapped. Um, I had a feeling that we may end up needing to kill him anyway. So if we're going to go down that road, bringing this guy's head really isn't, ain't nothing but a thing. Uh, there'll be another reward for this, I hope. You're racking up quite the body count. I think I've had enough. This is absolutely what I'd say. Um, there'll be another reward for this, I hope. I ask a boon. And will give one in return. A boon. The drow lurks in the ruins beyond the lake. Bring him death and return. Okay. <coughs> so we have been there, of course. Obviously, that's where we just came from. Um, cool. No problem. Quick save. Uh, da, 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 da. let's. Uh, Gail, excuse me, you're being very rude. Peace, Bringer. Be at home. Sure. Um, listen, I hope this doesn't piss you off. I've slain the creature called Glut. It was scheming to slaughter your circle. You are one with Spore. Your throat tightens, then relaxes. The air is serene, your mind untroubled. The songs we sing now carry your spirit. I first named you Peace. Bringer. I now name you Kin Spirit. Uh, well, you're welcome. I guess that's a good thing. Kin Spirit sounds nice, I guess. Let's see what you have to say. What is this crap around me that he threw on me? Was this dust? Uh, Rayport? Rapper? Spores? R report spores? Rap I'm like, I, I can't read. I'm dumb. Affected creatures can communicate telepathically with one another. Bliss spores. Affected entity has a 1 plus D... Uh, a plus 1 D6 bonus to attack rolls, ability checks, and saving throws until next long rest. Ooh, nice. Oh, uh... Okay, okay, we're good. Uh, hey, Thula. Oh, that's right, Thula. So this is Thula. I forgot her name. What's the quest? Uh, defeat the Dwagar's intruders. We need to get the reward. Deliver Nier's head. And... Hmm... Let's speak with her. I'm coming along. Just not fast enough. Any word on my people? Um... To be honest, I have forgotten what you wanted. What do I need to do? Like I said, save my kin. Oh, and if yeah. you kill any Dwerga, you won't see any tears from me. Oh, yeah. Hmm. There are some gnomes um, that we need to save, so that's right. I forgot about that. Well, we haven't done it yet. We're going to get back to it and do it in a minute. Let's go over here and talk to these pair and see if he's got any healing potions on him off screen Welcome back <coughs> have you made any new discoveries i will be doing uh some selling off some stuff uh, buh, 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 buh. i do enjoy a good bargain if anything in my private collection is to your liking and then getting some health potions and just stocking up before we fight that dumbass machine again um 145 for all five of these i guess we could they're kind of weak and crappy um while we're here we might as well sell off a bunch of crap now we do need bludgeoning weapons because yeah that thing the only way to hurt it is with bludgeoning piercing piercing you there we go and have that crap um What else can I sell you while we're here? You can have this hat. You can have this shirt. You can have these boots. Lazelle has these heavy things on her. What is this? Mud? Okay. You can have that. Um. 
Okay, I guess that's it, actually. Oh, well, actually, I got a few... There we go. A few things there. I may have a few other things that I could sell, but... That's fine for now. We got a little extra dough. Very well. I have mushrooms to catalog. Catalog your mushrooms. Alright, let's go see... What kind of reward we get for helping this guy out. The thing in Majiggy is... Where is it? I thought it was... I thought it was right over there. Oh. It's down here. Through here. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. We got experience. Defeat the Dwegar. Nice. Um, new journal. Something, something. I guess it's completed. Somewhere down here. Yeah, okay. Whatever. Uh, pale corpse. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Drow poison. Simple toxin. Blumpf mating uh, ritual. The cover proudly announces this book to be Flumpf mating rituals. Browse the contents, investigate. Um, let's investigate it. Sure. We got the spore stuff. Oh, we don't need it though. The scrutiny proves too much. The lurid text melts away before your eyes. An illusion. Ah. What remains are simple instructions written in a spare hand. The secret to forging adamantine. Well, well, well. Interesting. Hmm. We tried to forge it in the last episode. <clears throat> the pages apparently copied from Mun Master Tome describe the construction and use of a grand forge in the Underdark. Among the Sharans dwelled the gnome Solov Yali, whose talents for wizardry were known from Candlekeep to Sukkari. Under his tutelage, the Sharans built the Great Forge, which could heat Mithril with such vigor as to turn it to adamantine. With this astonishing metal, they could mold the finest blades and armor. Yet the jewel of Yali's eye was not the forge itself, but the protector he conjured from the magma to guard it, a construct said to be so mighty that no blade could fell it, and no spell could pierce it. Instructions for operating the great forge are listed underneath. Ingredients, raw, mithril ore, and a proper mold. Place the ore and mold into their respective chambers, pull the lever to lower the hammer, and prepare the ore for smelting. Open the valve to allow lava into the crucible, and drop the hammer again to forge the product. So we did indeed fight the Guardian, and it killed us. It whooped our butts. Uh, but that's to be expected. I am playing on the hardest difficulty. But now that we know what we're facing, we're going to go back. We're going to go back with a plan. Speaks of frost cover the hole, and specks of frost cover the hole in the bottom of this chunky piece of iron. Where it was clearly screwed into something. Eee. Going to things. And we did figure out how to use the forge, even without that book. Shadow of Mun... Baranzen? Shrouded in shadow. So this is just like mine. Uh, it's light armor. The one I have gives dexterity saving throws. While obscured, the number you need to roll a critical hit while attacked is reduced by one. This effect can stack. So that's very healthy, uh, helpful for my character. But with the other one that we have here, it gives me a spell called Shrouded in Shadow. You sense the shadows that envelop this row craft cow, eagerly waiting to envelop you and shield you from view. We may give it a try. Because you never know. Maybe that spell... Good. We have a backpack. Uh, I'll take these. Uh, yes. Bedroll, bottle. The bottles are worthless. And check the sacks. So was this drow camping in here? Is that what was going on? Empty potion bottle? Sure. And glowing gem. Oh, corpse. Okay, well, that's everything. Well, we got some interesting stuff in here. Let me see. Uh, I could try out this thing for a little bit. 
color matches, I think, slightly better. Now I have this spell. Shrouded in sh uh, shadow requires concentration, become invisible, and it's just a regular action. Uh, and it replenishes every short rest. Interesting. Let's try this one out for a while. See if it comes in handy. Goes perfect with my character. Um, how you doing? We'll be clearing out soon enough. You come across a noble stock mushroom about, you give it here. Gods know I've earned it. Um, what you got? I don't think I have. You, oh, you have a big health potion. Nice. You got two of them. Let me take these off of your hands. That's good to know. I definitely need some bigger ones. Ugh, these bombs are perfect. Let me have one of those. I miss having more of those. I think I used them up somewhere. Don't want any dyes? I don't think you got any good ones. Purple isn't bad, I guess. Pale orange. Black and jade green. That one doesn't look as cool as I thought it would. Do you have any potions of speed? No... What about hyena ears? You got all kinds of crap. Do you have any hyena ears? Um, I don't see. It's kind of hard to tell what some of these things are. This thing looks like... Well, never mind. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't need to say it. <laughs> Ooh, hello. This makes a potion of supreme healing. Kai Rin hair. Interesting. I wonder if I have the other stuff for that. Let me purchase that one. Imp. Um, this flying, I don't need that. No hyena ears from what I see. Unless I'm missing them. Well, shucks. That's fine, that's fine. Thanks. Now, we still may definitely be in for a fight. Because, I mean, you know, if we're going to have to kill this other guy, then it's like, well, we're going to be in for a fight either way. Uh, near. Hey, guys, how you doing? Okay. I think we can go back now. Uh, is there anything else I want to do? You know, before I forget, let me do the whole speak with animals things. And, Gail, you don't have your mage armor on. Because you never know, right? And Lizelle has her knowledge thing. Shadowheart has. And. Fey, fiends, undead, aberrations, celestials, elementals. I don't know if we're going to be going against any of them. This lasts until long rest. Thinking we should probably go ahead and do this. And. She can go ahead and summon something, but we'll wait until we get closer over there to the area. Why is Lizelle at the top up here? I don't understand. It, it got mixed up or something. Ah, uh, let me see. Oh, nope. Let's go fast travel. Map. We're going to have to go to this one. And it is called Ancient Forge. Or is it Grim Forge? I think it's the Grim Forge one. <clears throat> and we have already explored all this crap. Um, not to mention, oh, this guy's a merchant down here, I think. Well, not these guys, but there's another one up here. Um, not to mention, we destroyed that eyeball that relayed everything to the absolute. Where's this guy? Is this chest? Can I incendi? I thought. Wait, I'm getting a little turned around. No, no, okay, it is this way. Hey, let me buy a few things off of you. I don't know if I'll need it, but I might. The past is nearer than we think. Well, let's see what you've got. You have potions now? You have anything good that doesn't suck? I don't think you do, do you? I sold off some crap to you. You do not have anything good. Necessarily. You got some of these, though. That's not horrible. How many of those? I don't have a lot of those, do I? Got one. Do I seriously only have one? I thought I had more than that. Did I really use up all the others? Damn. I'm gonna have to spend a buttload to just get these. That sucks. They're very... They come in handy, though. 
That's all then. <clears throat> That's all. Thanks, buddy. Hopefully I don't end up killing you. I like that guy. He's the only person who was nice to me here. Oh, it's this way. Okay, well, we're gonna try to get this guy out. We're gonna see what happens. We do have powder. We have, like, a special bomb that we were given. And we're gonna see what this drow says. He might turn on us. Do you have anything new to say? Because we did your little task. The eyes clobbered. Good work. You're welcome. Time to bust Nier out and shred him. Um, I've obtained explosive powder. Okay. Um, let's go... What do you have to say? Reinforcements, huh? Let's see how long you last. Ooh, you're nasty. I bet you're single. Um... Are these guys the people we're supposed to be saving? Like the people of... What's her name? Thala or Thula or something? No, it's probably slave workers that they're talking about. Can we chat with them first? Marcus Root. Ah, oh, it's you. Oh, it's this guy. The mascot of my ill fortunes. Much as I'd love to chat, I'm not allowed social breaks. Looks like you need rescuing again. How did you get captured? You were on a quest, weren't you? Making progress? Oh, is this... I don't think this is that same guy that we met um, a few episodes ago. No, no, no. If I remember correctly, I think this is the guy that we rescued from the goblin village that was on that windmill. Um, you were on a quest, right? You Something regarding your friends and Baldur's Gate, something like that? Yeah, you making progress? I thought I was. I came down here looking for Wolbrin. Yeah, that guy. I suspected he and his little friends might have come to this region. And I was right. But... I was too late. Walbrin had already been taken to Moonrise Towers. The rest, put to work. You won't find a worse gaggle of rare do wells than these Iron Hand gnomes. Except for Walbrin, desperate though his taste in companions might be. As I was contemplating his folly, I was spotted by a very ugly Dwergar. Now, I dig. It isn't good. Yeah, I can see that. Um, let's see. What's the next part of your plan? Hiding in plain sight. A cunning strategy. What's the next part of your plan? Dig. And hope for an opportunity to escape. Okay. You could just ask for my help. I'll keep you in my prayers. Hope. Is it? Enjoy the rest of your life as a captive then. You could just ask for my help. These brutes are no mere goblins. I doubt you could take them on. Okay, well, not with that attitude. I'll take care of your captors and I'll get you out of here. I could, but I probably won't. Um, that sounds like a challenge to me. Uh, you know what, actually? Hmm, I don't want any of the other guys over here in this. Um, let's see, I could just leave. Sounds like a challenge. No, it's fine. I'll take care of your captors and I'll get you out. You will. If you are successful, that would be most convenient. Yeah, but you know me, just so you know. Clean up. I'm speaking soft whispers. The words all but lost in the hot air. Uh, perception. Eavesdrop on the conversation. All right. Easy peasy. Man, that bliss spores is, uh, I think gonna come in handy here. I'll never get through. We need that smoke powder. Finamine's gone, and if she's smart, she won't be coming back. Tell the sergeant where she went. Beltron's still trapped with that maniac near. Forget the smoke powder. They kill Phil on the spot. I won't let you do it. Do you mean Philamine? She's safe. I have the powder. I'm a friend. Thola sent me. I heard Gnome escaped. Tell me what you know. Um, what's going on here? Intimidation. You mentioned smoke powder. Details now. Persuasion. Listen, I can help you. Act frightened or you'll draw attention. Um, let's uh, tell him this. Uh, do you mean Philomene? She's safe and I do have the powder. She's... she's alright. Thank the stern himself. Okay, keep it down. But the others... They'll die in that tunnel, if not by poison, then by Nier's hand. So, 
You have the powder? My Beldrum will die back there. Blow up that wall. I'm begging you. Well, I was going to probably do that anyway. Um, I'll do what I can. Hurry! Our people won't last in that cave in forever. Alright. You guys have anything else to say? You got the smoke powder? Go on, blow the rubble. She's like terrified. What about you? Well, so. My sister's in there! Myrna! Myrna, can you hear me? Alright, guys. The slowest of you Look at this guy. Beating him. I guess, can I... I had an option to mention the smoke powder. Can yes, I just... Uh, I've got some explosive powder. That might clear. Yeah, there we go. Um... Mm. Okay, yeah, I've got some explosive powder. That might clear the debris. That's so. Set it near the rubble and ignite it. That'll blow the drow out. Okay, I need everyone to move. Back on your feet or I'll bite your Set off it near one. the rubble. Use. Be near the rubble. A fragmented voice clutches at your mind. A true soul. True soul. Finally, you must clear rubble, filling poison. Are you near what happened here? Is anyone else in there? Stay still. Uh, yeah, you're near, right? What happened here? That rhyme. Expedition. Passage trapped. Gnomes useless. Don't trust Burks. Get me out. See you through Nir's eyes as a blur. You only make out a bit of rubble. And few moving figures. Looks like there is someone else there with him. Try to focus. What more can you see? Um, we should be able to get this pretty decent. Unless we get a critical failure. Alright. Show me. The blur resolves into an image. Two gnomes feverishly removing debris. While two others lie dead at Nia's feet, their flesh scorched by powerful magic. Doesn't look like they're he gonna sense last. Nia's frustration tinged with rage as the connection fades. Hmm. The two in there that's dead were killed with magic. Maybe Nia killed them? Alright, let's. Can we use it again and place the stuff? Choking! Dig out of here! You sense Nia's frustration tinged with rage as the connection fades. Yeah, okay. I was hoping we could, like, just place the explosives that way. Um. Oh, you know what I wanted to do? Just in case things go bad here. I did this last time, but, um. Uh, let's see. I want Gale. Hmm. Maybe Gale and Shadowheart. A long way to go, Back on your feet or I'll bite your I want them to get the high one. ground up here. Oh, I had a Stereon with me last time. Um. Not sure how I want to... Because I'm just thinking, like, let's say that we get these guys out of here and then a fight breaks out. Like, we're all kind of grouped up. I'm thinking maybe I'll have my main character sneak to the side. Food. Drug intruso getting himself trapped. Let him suffocate. If the Absolute can't save him. Interesting. It's really on the other side over here. Um, I think I'm gonna go over around this way and hide here. That way, if a battle starts off, I can kind of, um... Don't want to draw you know, attention. sneak behind someone and, and really ruin their day. Who do I want to do the talking? We'll have... Action. We'll have Lizelle do the talking. And then Did we'll send Shadowheart and... Um... You know, I say that. I don't know if that's the best move, to be honest with you. Because we may need to be persuasive. We'll have Shadowheart and Gale 
get back up here on the balcony so they have the high ground. Uh, I think it's over this way. Yeah, I think I might actually just have my main character just do the talking. He won't be able to get a good backstab in if uh, the fight breaks out, but he's the most persuasive one. Um, Alright, and where is it? Where the hell is the balcony? It's up here. Right, there we go. These two are going to hang out up here. We'll see how it goes. And... Probably me and Lizelle. We'll just... Get up. Because I've got these weird spores on me. So it makes me more persuasive. We'll just we'll just do it like this. It's it's fine. I got Lizelle down here with me. Okay, so I saved it. Now, how do I want to... Maybe... Can I just talk to Bugger you? Bugger off! You're distracting the slaves! They run! You're dead! Um, it says I need to set it down on the ground. And then light it. I really don't want to blow these guys up on accident. Uh, where is it? Can I... Here it is. Rune powder vial. Alright, that's exactly what I was hoping for. Um, I'm the only one that doesn't have freaking fire. Do I not have a fireball? Gail does. What are you waiting for? I don't think Lazelle has any magic either. Can I just shoot this stupid thing? Uh, I don't think I have a scroll with a weak fireball. You want? Shush! I'm looking for it. I'm thinking fire is the way to go. I think my crossbow. Man, am I gonna seriously have to get Gale down here? What are you waiting for? Yes. Damn it. Alright, fine. We'll get Gale over here to the side. Blast the thing to bits! Alright, alright. Uh, fireball. Let's do it. Eat this. Beltron, can you hear me? Beltron! Looking ahead. Okay. Well, I think we saved them. Journal update. We have free the trousseau. We managed to clear the cave-in. Oh, shit. Okay. There he is. Finally. Worthless slaves. Your incompetence has been my ruin. Nay, does not fail. Oh, goddamn. Stop. No more innocents will die today. Finish the slaves, true soul, for the absolute. Get relax, dude. You care for the weak, true soul. Um, Most curious. Well, I just think they could be useful. It's all. Uh, I came on the Mykonoids Sovereign's behalf. It demands revenge. I act on orders of the absolute. Of course, I care. I can't let these gnomes suffer. This isn't about them. I just can't stand your face. <laughs> um. Uh, like, we're no friend of this guy, and he works for the Absolute, and the thing is, is now that he sees us here, if he makes it back alive, there's a chance that he'll end up ruining our ability to go back to Moonrise Towers, because they all still think we're allies. Of course, there are some of these Dwegar who are faithful as well, so... Um... Let's see, I act on Orders of the Absolute... Let's go with this one. I act on orders of the Absolute. And so you say. And yet the Absolute demands that I cull them. Thryn, carve out his heart and serve it to the Rothe. If he indeed is a true soul, let the Absolute save him. Okay, so this guy's a dick. Um, uh, that's your cue, uh, Brithvar. It's time you got paid. You so much as touch me, and I'll tear you from limb to limb. Rogue, I'll slit your throat before you can blink. To be honest, it looks like this is going to turn into a battle either way. Um, I mean, he just told her to carve out our freaking heart. Oh, and we all we did was say we're from the Absolute. Um, I suppose if we would have encouraged him to kill the gnomes, then 
he wouldn't be going down this route. But since we didn't do that and we said spare the gnomes, then he uh, thinks that we're a traitor. Um, <clears throat> let's get this guy's help. Uh, Brithvar, it's time you got paid. Let, we'll, we'll have a few more allies in this battle which could help us out. That's your cue, Brithvar. It's time you got paid. Damn right it's time. You owe my crew a ten days worth of coin near, and the reckoning's come. You bargained with this wretch. How vexing. Near is not without mercy, true soul. The rat has given you a chance to earn my favor. Strike him down. Prove your faith. Okay, so now this guy's kind of backtracking. It sounds like he's scared. Uh, side with Nier, side with Brithvar and the rebels, do nothing. Uh, we have nothing to gain by siding with this guy. He is the enemy. We have every intention on eventually killing Ketherak. And, uh, screw the absolute. I'm not interested in being their puppet. So, we can't let this guy live either way. And every advantage if we kill him. So let's side with Brithvar and the rebels. Heretics. Is that approved? Let Nier be your end. Any person that speaks to the... You know about themselves and you know the, the first person like that i mean just douchebag through and through these are allies it looks like and they're helping us out that's a bad guy oh that's our chance we have equipped gale with the counter spell and we haven't used this yet let's do it we could do level three yeah suck on those eggs Good job, Gale. Well, they can still move. I was hoping Shadowheart would uh, take that guy out before they moved. It's fine, I guess. Okay, it's Lazelle's turn. And we have several enemies. We got quite a battle here. Where's Nier? Um, these guys are the enemies. They're... I mean, there's a decent amount of them. I don't want these guys getting hurt. The gnomes. I need them to stay alive. Oh, he's back here. Okay. And he's got a decent amount of health. He's a drow. Psychic does not really work very well on him. He's got extra attack. Fey ancestry. Unlight sensitivity. Okay. He may not be too difficult. We definitely need to deal with him. I'm thinking... We'll have Lazelle carve her way through this guy. And then force her way to near. Let's go with Rage. Let's go. Oh, here we go. Attack this guy. And double attack. And... Triple attack. And quadruple attack. Oh, one health left. If she had that psychic ability, he'd be dead. Okay, it's my turn now. Um, this guy... He's Sergeant Thryn. I want to go ahead and kill him. And we can use an off-handed attack to do that. You're dead. And now I can go over here. And get closer to, to you, my man. It's gonna be me and you, douchebag. Uh, what do we want to do? We could use this. Become invisible requires concentration. Uh, we've never used something like that, like, in battle. We've got this. It kind of lights up the whole area, though, doesn't it? Um, that's not a bad idea, though. Let's try it, because we can't... I mean, we could just attack him. Could we... We could knock him back, maybe, into the poison. Um, I'm surprised he's not more injured after being in there. Do we have a scroll we want to use on him? Hmm... I don't know if we really necessarily need to. Hmm. Let's use this ability. I think this would be cool. He's going to have a really hard time hitting me. You're in my thrall. Okay. Detecting presence. Crap. 
So now he can detect me. Okay, it's Shadowheart's turn. It looks like Lizelle, she's coerced, uh, forced to fight for Nier and takes one to six psychic damage each turn. We don't want that. I believe I have an arrow that can save her and cure her, don't I? I can, like, throw it at her. Let's see. This one, arrow of salving. Um, poison, paralyze, and blindness. Well, that's not what I want. Um, break your target's concentration and silence them. I think it is a concentration, isn't it? Let's see. Um, I can't quite tell if this is a concentration spell or not. I mean, surely it is. Maybe it's not. Is there any way I can tell? It's a condition. Four turns remaining. Charmed. No, I don't think it is a concentration one. I think it would say it otherwise. It's just a condition. Damn it. Well, uh, Lizelle's turned against us. We gotta kill Nier. How do we want to go about this? We don't want him killing any of these gnomes. Shadowheart's turn. Uh... Let's see. Oh, man. The fact that Lizelle can attack twice, too. So that's really... Really kind of a pain. I'm not sure what I want to do with Shadowheart. She's up here, though. She does have the high ground. And she could probably... No, she'd have to go down there. Um. Hmm. I don't think this guy has necessarily any base weaknesses. Oh, I should have conjured this axe. I forgot about that. Crap. Hmm. Not sure. I'm, I'm, I'm confused. I'm not sure what I want to do. Alright, let's just attack. There's 4 to 24 damage, this right here. Let's try it. 5 to 30. 5 to 30. This should hurt. Uh, not as much as I would have liked, but okay. Um, man, we could drop this. Although, I could potentially hurt this gnome there. Or this guy. I don't know if I want to do that. Crap. Anything else? Oh, let's go ahead and summon the axe. Summon the big great axe. And let's summon it down here. I like that. Okay. Guy's turn. Oh, you suck. Alright, this is an ally. There we go. Good hits, man. Okay. Oh! Mind mesmerized? What the hell? sucks. Man, that just used up my uh, freaking action. Damn. That sucks. I'm on fire now. Ah, they're an ally, too. Well, let me get out of the fire. Too close. And crap. How the heck did that happen? I didn't even see that happen. Let's use a weak healing potion. That's all Gale can do. Whose turn is it? The axe? Hit him. Damn, suck on those eggs. This guy's tough. Weapon drops. Okay, that knocked her out of it. That actually helped us out. Oh, there goes our ally. Man, this guy's a dick. Damn it. Oh my god. Oh, did Gale seriously? Seriously? Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, we have more allies coming. Okay, that's good. Well, it's Lizelle's turn. Lizelle, why don't you come over here and start, you know, wailing on this guy. Let's go with... Yeah, that'll work. Alright, weapon, weapon is dropped. Now we could do... This is a new one. To attack with advantage and bonus damage. Oh, yeah. That was a good hit. Good job. Uh, Lizelle. My turn now. Excellent. 
So, this guy's hurting pretty bad. I think I could probably sneak since I'm invisible. Everyone else minds that business. And now I can do an additional bonus damage with a sneak attack. Oh, that did a good amount of damage. He's almost done. Hopefully he doesn't heal next turn. Shield of strength. Interesting. Okay, well that healed him. Interesting. Alright, it's uh, Shadowheart's turn now. Ooh, what do I want her to do? She could potentially kill Nier. Uh, he's healed up a little bit. Let's do more damage on him. Shield of Screams, though. What does that do? Lasts for two turns. Protected by the screams of his enemies. Armor class increased by three. And attackers take two to twelve psychic damage when they hit Nier with a melee attack. So we actually... It'll be more advantageous to actually hit this guy with a straight-up uh, spell. Let's do this and try to take him out for good. Oh, so close, so close, so close. And we have a bonus action. Uh, we could summon another one of these axes. I don't know if we really necessarily want to do that. Uh, let's... we're fine. Okay, it's this guy's turn. Mind Mastery. Damn it. These guys have some psychic stuff. This is an ally. That's it. Get revenge on this guy. Whoop him. Oh, I think he just picked up the weapon. That's all he did. God damn it. Gale just died. And even if we bring him back and it's his turn next, he's gonna die in the lava. God damn it. Man. Uh, it's the axe's turn. Oh, the axe should be able to finish them off. No, can you... No, no, no. Attack. There we go. Oh, he missed. Son of a bitch. That's not looking too good. Invisible. Interesting. That's an ally. Not good. Where are you going? What are you doing? Oh, okay. Can you... Alright, there we go. There we go. Not bad. Okay, it's Lizelle's turn. I hate to waste her attack on this guy. Ugh. But he needs to be put down. I could have my main character do it next turn, though, before he goes again. Let's do that. Oh, well, we can't have Lizelle move while he's still active, so never mind. Otherwise, he'll hit her. You're dead. Alright, now he's dead. Uh, let's get over here and... Start welling on this guy. Can we do this one? Nice. Foul. Will you break? Critical hit. Oh, nice. That absolutely killed him. Good job, Lizelle. That's it for her. Mind struck. I don't like that. Ooh, we could push that fat little one off. Yeah, you guys get in here. Help us out. Get over here. Oh, that was cool. Damn. Alright, it's my turn. Can I get over here and push this fat little guy off? Do I have a scroll of like... Or maybe an arrow? Here, right, here we go. Pushes them back 17 feet. We'll have a cool idea. Is that the only one I want to take out? This person here has a decent amount of health. We can move here. On my way. And then we can use this arrow to completely knock them off into this. I don't want to knock off the gnome. You're dead. Nice. And I have a bonus action. Um, everything else is looking pretty good. I don't think I want to do anything else. Unless... Do I have enough? No, I don't even have enough movement. Need to act fast. Alright, Shadowheart or Shadowheart. Yeah, that's her name. Shadowheart. Getting confused. There's this guy over here. Kind of sort of a problem. And then there's... Um... This person here. Maybe we can assist. The sooner we kill all these guys, the sooner we can maybe bring back Gale. Um, that's not horrible. Let's do that. You get down there and do this. Uh, not horrible, I guess. 
guy's not looking too good. He's gonna die. Sorry, dude. You're only making it worse for yourself, he says. Okay. He's just confused. He doesn't know what to do. Detecting presence. Oh, there was an enemy there. Interesting. Concentration is broken. He healed. Yeah, I think we got this battle in the bag. Oh, he heal they healed Gil. Thank you. Oh, he's right back down dead again because he's in the lava. But thank you anyway. How in the world are we going to get him back to life? Because if he just resurrects in the lava, you know, that's not good. Uh, it's the axe's turn. You know, Shadowheart does have a spell that might actually be able to help out in this situation. How much health does this guy have? Uh, the axe can't move very far. I guess we could have the axe. I mean, yeah, I guess we'll just have it go over here. He's healing. Not good. Oh, that's not good. More clear. Okay, it's Lizelle's turn. Now what we need to do is probably get over here and try to take this guy out. She doesn't... Oh, no, it's this guy. She has this. Excellent. Let's do main attack first. Might be able to kill him. Because this right here is going to do extra double damage. Man, I'm so glad I gave her that ability. Look at that. He's down to seven. guy's gonna die soon. Man, that guy's got some hops. Okay, it's my turn, and then Shadowheart. Shadowheart has a spell where I think she might be able to teleport herself and a companion, which is interesting. I mean, even if I get over in here and help out Gale, like, I can't even get down there and help him out. But I'm not really sure what to do. Um, I'm gonna have my character get over here, everything. and then we'll do a long-ranged attack. Just to whittle this guy down. Oh, man, that did a lot of good damage. They don't have much left. See, it's this spell right here. Dimension door. Teleport yourself and up to one adjacent ally. To a place you can see, the ally cannot be larger than medium. Adjacent. Oh, she has to be really close. You know what? Let's have her do dash and get over to where uh, Gale is. Because um, she might be able to use it if she's close enough. And we can get him out of the lava. Otherwise, I don't really know how to get him out of there. Um, it's going to be it for her. I think there's only a few left. He's dead. I think there's only one left. Okay. Dead. We won. Parasite. Shindil Rin's shit house. You see it. Cock stench had a regular in his skull. All the more reason to clear out. Please don't tell me we're gonna have to Here's fight. Here's your guys. cut. Extra two, like I promised. Nice. Clan, grab your gear, wipe your asses. Time I scrammed before more pricks from Moonrise Towers move in. Well, at least you're a man of your word. Uh, what makes Moonrise Towers such a threat? Leave and take the slaves with you before I change my mind. Yeah, what about the slaves? What about them? Clan property. They come with us. No, I'm going to need them, actually. I promised someone I'd help them out. Uh, see them free or I will thrash you like I thrash near. Let the gnomes go. They'll just slow you down. Let's try persuasion. Um, and we can do this one. Should be able to get this. Come on, buddy. We got a good thing going here. Don't, don't screw it up now. Just made it. Hmm. You got a point. Likely to be all hobbled up, what with the lashings. Yeah. No pricks. You're off the hook. Scram before I get my senses. We save the nodes, uh, gnomes. Um, what makes Moonrise Tower such a threat? That's a stupid question, but let's see what this guy says. Your brain going mushy, shark. Yeah, sorry. That's where those absolute freaks hold up. 
Goblins, drow, gnolls, even humans. Ain't no one they won't try to turn. I've been the there. way I hear tell, some prick there calls the shots. The general near called him. And there ain't no way I'm sticking around long enough to meet him. Yeah, he's uh, probably a wise move. All right, so long. All right, we got a little bit of experience there. Now, Gale is just straight up dead. Damn it, how do we get him out of there without him further dying? This is uh, a pickle. Let's do a proper save. And we can use a scroll of Revivify, of course, but... Like, if we revive him, isn't he just going to immediately die again? Group. Loot, examine. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this, and he's just straight up dead. How can we do this? He did this to you. Do I have anything that could, I don't know, pull him, you know, or something like that? Improvise melee, help, help a drowned character, or remove burning and snared. Yeah, I'd love to, but he's dead, so I have to use a scroll of revivify. I feel like he'll come straight back. Man, I don't know. Um... Like, if the moment we revive him, he's gonna die, I feel. Is he? Hmm. Is there a way? Um. No, 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 no. Still breathing, despite everything. What if I go down around here? Okay. What about over there on that other ledge? Is that a way up? Let's see. And we'll talk to everyone um, once we figure out how to rescue Gale. So this is indeed how you get down. Loot. I don't want to loot him. Ah, oh, jeez. Is there no other option? Uh, throw an item. I mean, Shadowheart, your spell... I can't use it now, can I? Maybe. Choose the target to teleport. So this is Gale. So we've chosen the target. Right? Uh, target can't be a creature. Choose teleportation destination. Um, here? Oh, nice. Check that out. We did it. We got him out of there. Ooh, he's not looking good, is he? But we did it. Excellent. Never a dull moment. All right. Yeah, he's not looking too good. Oh, poor Gale. We're going to have to use one of these damn scrolls because he was kicked off the thing. Man, he wasn't able to do anything in that battle. Mm. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Ah, uh, there you go. Not yet. I like the attitude. Uh, we're all hurting. Come. Let's go ahead and do a short rest. Enough time wasted. And now we're all right back to normal. All right, guys, I'm going to end this episode there. That was a fun little battle. In the next episode, we're going to go around and have a chat with everyone. Guys, if you like the video, do please hit the like and subscribe buttons. And, of course, as always, thanks so much for watching and have a great freaking day.